In this tutorial, we'll learn how to create a web user interface for our Arduino. We have an Arduino board together with an Ethernet shield, an LED with a resistor, and uh, the goal is to turn on and off the LED from a web uh, interface and uh, then to see the status directly into the browser. I create a project. I uh, open the diagram editor and I go to the board diagram. Then I create an output and um, I uh, set pin number 8 for my output. The next step is to create an HTTP server. Let's find an IP address. I use ipconfig to find my IP address. We see it ends with 176. Let's try a similar one with dot uh, 50 at the end. When I do this ping, we see that somebody has already occupied it. I try dot 51 and apparently this one is uh, not taken. So I can use it for my um, Arduino. And now I add a command for which I need to choose a mapping, toggle LED. And um, I will create an invocation that will link this event with a toggle hilo operation. And now I download the project and um, load it to my Arduino board. I go faster over this section as we have seen it in detail in the first tutorial. And now let's give it a try. I use the um, IP address that I have chosen, slash toggle LED, the mapping for my command. And uh, as I um, hit enter, we can see the LED that changes state. And now let's add a beautiful web user interface. We do this by adding petals uh, directly on the main diagram under the web user interface node. I choose the quick create wizard which creates for me several petals at once. In this case it will create one row um, plus three columns plus for each column a panel. At runtime we use the popular bootstrap responsive framework which uh, employs a grid system with rows and uh, 12 columns. In our case, we have three equal columns, so each one occupies four positions, for a total of 12 positions. I have modified the title of uh, the panel, and I have erased the um, two, two of the three columns. And now, I use, again, a quick creation wizard to create a button, for which I choose the mapping, the toggle LED, remember the mapping that I have chosen in the HTTP server, and a custom label. And now we can preview the changes. When we do modifications only in the web user interface part, we can iterate quickly using this green button. Flowerino would serve us the generated web page, which is usable, meaning that it communicates with the Arduino board, as we can see here. Until now, we have seen the communication in only one way. We gave commands in the web browser, which were executed by Arduino, but the opposite way functions as well. We want to see the status of our Arduino directly into the browser. For this, I'm adding a new input, which I uh, configure to uh, toggle the status of the LED. And now I upload the board modifications to my Arduino and um, I um, will give it a try to make sure that it works. And now I um, use the quick create wizard to create a new label which I link to output 1. As I have modified only the user interface, I can click again on this green button, 
we can see that if I click on the button the state the label changes and if I do modifications from um, the physical button the state changes as well I'm finished for the moment with uh, the modifications so I upload the .ino file to Arduino it contains the generated uh, HTML user interface in a compacted form so if I point the browser to the IP address of uh, the Arduino board um, it serves the HTML page and we have the same um, behavior that we have um, observed before and now it's your turn I recommend to add more visual elements on the screen that uh, do various things but before that let me show you some tips and tricks for example control plus arrows which uh, change the order of the petals and the copy and paste command which are helpful when you want to customize your uh, user interface